family hit that like button right now your angels will hunt this enemy down i said your angels is going to hunt this wicked enemy down if you know that that's true hit that like button right now i'm going in for you my chosen family your angels is about to hit this enemy where the enemy don't even know it's coming chosen ones let me tell you something right now your angels is about to hunt this enemy down oh my goodness gracious you are spiritually protected they underestimated your protection chosen ones they underestimated your divine protection i'm going to show you something tonight all right that's going to open your eyes to how God has you so protected. Somebody let me know right now who's in this chat. I got a powerful message for you. What's going on? What's going on? God bless you. God bless you. Listen, God is not playing out here. I want you to know something right now, and this is real. You are protected by God. And for all the people that's been out there doing harm to you, that's been trying to set traps for you, I want you to notice my chosen family the reason i've been speaking on your new identity and how god has took you in and how you have this new identity with christ i want you to know something christ's angels was protecting him as well oh my goodness gracious so understand with you taking on this new identity you have protection from the angels and i'm here to tell you right now that your angels Yes, the, 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 the spirit, the entity that you can't see is going to hunt down the witches, the warlocks, the monitoring spirits. And they're not going to hunt them down to give them a hug and kiss. They're going to hunt them down and they're going to persecute them. I'm going to show you. I'm not playing tonight. All right. Listen, listen, listen. If someone lying to you out there saying that you weren't protected, they've been lying. You are protected. You wonder why you survived all the attacks you wonder why you survived all the wicked things that this enemy wanted to place over your life you know chris life coach got you tonight i'm gonna expose it to you god bless you how are you doing my chosen family how are you doing oh we got a witch in the chat oh oh wow okay let's see let's see i uh, point them out Nora. point them out my chosen sister where's the witch at where's the witch at Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, let's keep rolling. Watch this. I'm good, I'm good. Watch this. Listen, listen, my chosen vessels. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Nora, you my chosen family. I love you, chosen sister. What's up, Helen? What's up? What's going on, chosen ones? Hey, listen, Nora, I'm good. Um, I woke up with a vision in a dream directly from the most high god and it was on my spirit to tell you happy new year helen it was on my spirit to tell you that your angels is working in the spiritual realm okay and they are persecuting this enemy all right i want you to know that this is not a joke this is not a game um <laughs> you are protected uh the heavenly father when you took on this new identity it came with protection. If you believe that, let me get an amen down in the comment section below. All my chosen ones that's in here, let me get an amen down in the comment section below. If you believe that when you took up on Christ, up on the spirit, okay, um, you knew that there was protection that came along with it. God is good. Somebody put down in the comment section below, God is good. Somebody do that for me. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been under attack, chosen ones? Let me know. Have you been Have you been under spiritual warfare? Somebody let me know. Oh, wait. Nora said it right here. They tried to take my life, but God blocked it. Amen. God is good. There you go. Breakthrough. Already. Already. And my chosen sister, Nora, because they tried to do that to you, I'm here to tell you right now, this message is for you. I don't know who this message is for, but I'm here to tell you right now, my chosen family, that I have... A, a powerful message for you all right a powerful message listen listen there's darkness in spirits working in the dark at all times trying to mark your life trying to take you off this earth i said oh my goodness gracious there is dark spirits working at all times trying to set traps for you trying to take you off this earth okay listen children family you know i do a lot of different messages but this one right here 
uh, came straight from the Most High God. The Most High God is telling me to tell you that there is dark forces that's working in the dark. Witchcraft. The, 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 same, the same witches that Saul went to. Okay, witchcraft. Okay, that want to take you off this earth, chosen family. But I'm here to tell you right now, no wicked weapon that's formed against your life is going to prosper in the mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hit that like button right now. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. And your angels is going to hunt down this enemy. I'm going it. I'm going in. Oh my God. Thank you for becoming a member of this channel. This message right here is going to be filled with the anointing, the Holy Ghost of God. Nothing is going to be fake about this message right here. They mess with the wrong chosen ones. Somebody put down in the comment section below, they mess with the wrong ones. Someone put that down there. They mess with you. They should have never messed with you. They should have left you alone. Somebody put down in the comment section below, they should have left me alone. They should have left you alone. You wonder why our spirits resonate on this video here, Chosen Family. I'm here to tell you right now, they should have left you alone. Because what I'm about to expose, I'm about to show you how God has you protected. And nobody on this earth, nobody on this earth will ever mess with you ever again once you see this message. Once you see how God's been working behind the scenes protecting you, I'm about to show you. Why you think the witchcraft didn't work? They laid out a path of witchcraft and you walk right through that path. God bless you. God bless you. Listen, listen. My chosen brother said this. Coach, I stand on business. They mess with the wrong one. You right about that, my chosen brother. Thank you for pouring in the ministry. They should have never mentioned your name. They should have never went around other witches trying to take you out the game. They should have never did none of that stuff. They should have left you out of it. But instead, they wanted to put you in it. So because they put you in it, God's going to get them. Matter of fact, God says, I'm going to let my angels get them. And y'all know what Bible verses I'm going to on this enemy. They should have left you alone. Glory be to God. Thank you, Most High God, for giving all my chosen ones here that's on this chat, for giving them that extra protection that they needed when the enemies tried to gang stalk them and the narcs came against them and they rallied up with thousands and hundreds of people against them. They spread rumors on their name. They, 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 they did wicked things in the dark that we didn't even know about spiritual warfare at an all time high. Oh, my God. Heavenly Father, give me the strength, Heavenly Father. Give me the strength in my body to get this message off, Heavenly Father, because I need to let the chosen ones know what you want to tell them. God of Israel, thank you so much. What's up, Rhonda Johnson? God bless you. God bless you. I'm going in. Some of you will say, Crystal Life Coach, I'm looking at the title of this video. What do you mean my angels is going to chase this enemy down? Uh, and hunt? No, 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 no. Let me be more specific. Your angels is going to hunt, hunt this enemy down. Let me be more specific. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below if you understand what I'm saying. All the new subscribers that subscribe to the channel, thank you so much. All my previous subscribers that's been rocking with me from day one, thank you so much. I'm here to tell you right now, you got so much protection, you don't even know it. If they laid out some traps on your path, I'm here to tell you right now that God is going to reverse it. The angels is going to reverse it. The angels is going to set a slippery trap for the enemy so the enemy can fall in their trap. God is going to get them. You wonder why they've been plotting over your life. It's hunting season. Somebody put down in the comment section below. It's hunting season. It's hunting season. Your angels is hunting them. You don't got to lift a hand. Oh, my God. You did your job, chosen ones. You did your job. What was your job? Your job was to be obedient to Christ. Your job was to take on the identity of Christ. Understand by doing that, you have the protection. All right. Understand that there's protection that comes with you answering the call of God. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Let me make this clear. I told you you were connected to the most high God. <clears throat> you don't think that through that connection that God has his angels protecting you. Oh, my God. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Nora said, take our hands off and let the Lord show up and show out. There you go. I said, 
through this connection, I told you chosen was the other life. You answered the call of God. Through this connection, I want you to know this, that there's angels that's connected. You're right about that. Yes, absolutely. They are invested in us. Yes. Your angels have a job to do. Just like the witches have a job to do. Your angel's job is to protect you from the wicked and to fight the evil forces that's working in the dark. That's your that's the angel's job. And the angel's job is to report back to God the evil plan. All right. Let me make that clear. On assignment. There you go. It's an assignment. Understand this. The reason that you have this protection is because you're chosen and you got a purpose you got to carry out. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I have a purpose I have to carry out in this world. Somebody put that down there. <laughs> How do you think Joseph survived? How do you think Joseph survived when Joseph was thrown in the pit, when Joseph was in prison? How do you think Paul survived? Come on, chosen family. They had angels protecting them. Yeah. You have a purpose. I have a purpose, chosen ones. Right? Crystal Life Coach has a purpose to carry out. And you can see the purpose that I'm carrying out. On my way up, uh, before I started my ministry and through my ministry, God surrounded me with angels to protect me. All right. I want you to know that. So if you're wondering why did God give me these angels? The reason why is because you have a purpose you got to carry out. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's all good. It, it, listen, get the likes up, my chosen family, because <clears throat> my chosen ones need to hear this message. The chosen vessels have to hear this message, chosen ones. Uh, get the likes up. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I'm about to show you your, your spiritual power and, and uh, your divine protection that you have. Um, and I want you to know that it's that it's your angels, not you, that's going to hunt down. I said it. Hunt down the dark forces, the wicked, the enemies, and anybody, anybody who set a trap for you will be persecuted by the angels, by your angels. All right? Understand that. So, uh, Melissa, you're here on the right time. Crystal, you're here on the right time. I'm about to get into this message now. Um, I'm going to show you. Now, some of you will say, Crystal Life Coach, I'm ready for this message. No problem. Let's give it to him. Go to Psalms 35, chosen ones. We're going to see just how your angels hunt. Okay? Let's see. Let's see if you got the angels working on your behalf. Let's see. I'm going there now. Psalms 35. Let's go there, chosen ones. So this is a Psalm of David. Watch this. Plead, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. So anybody that um, has anger against you, okay? Um, this is what David's saying. Watch this. <clears throat> fight against them that fight against me. All right? So as you can hear, David is telling the Most High God, listen, fight against those that fight against me, the people who I can't see, the, the, the wicked dark forces, the dark spirits who I can't see. Fight against them. Uh, fight against them, Heavenly Father. Fight on my behalf. Watch this. So this is David asking the Most High God to fight on his behalf. Let's see what God do. Let's see if God shows his hand or let's see who God summons because God summons somebody. All right, watch this. It says, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. So this is what you need to do, chosen family. You need to ask God for help. 
All right. Ask the most high God to send his angels to protect you just like David did and watch what's going to happen. No, they don't want to fight with God. You write about that. No, they don't want to fight with God. Watch this. Draw out also the spear and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am the, thou salvation. So David is telling the most high God to uh, uh, any enemy, okay, that wants to show his spear, want to show the weapon. Uh, he said, most high God, I need you to show them that I'm with you. I'm on your team. Someone put down in the comment section below. God, I'm on your team. God, show them I'm on your team. That's powerful. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on God's team, baby. If you're on God's team right now, hit that like button right now. I'm going to show you what it means to be on God's team. I'm going to show you what it means to be on the Most High God's team. Someone put that down there before I go any further. I'm on God's team. I'm working against these dark forces. Understand that. Watch this. It says this. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my hurt. So there you go. Breakthrough. God not only. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious. God's not only going to confound them. He's going to confuse them. That's powerful. Yeah, God's going to confuse the enemy. Watch how powerful this is. Let's see how God is going to work this out. Let them as shaft, which is straw, before the wind. So he's saying, let them blow in the wind. And let the angels of the Lord chase them. Uh-oh, breakthrough. What is the angels of the Lord going to do? It says, let the angels of the Lord chase, chase them. <coughs> Hit that like button right now. The angels of the Lord is going to chase them. That sounds like hunting to me. Right or wrong, chosen ones? Let me know right now. Does that sound like hunting? Okay. Okay. Some of you will say, well, maybe the angels is just going to chase them just to chase them down the block and just to run them off. Let's go a bit further since we got some smart Alex in this video here okay no problem you don't want to believe it let's go a little bit further here because the angels is not just going to chase them let's see what the angels is going to do it says this let the angels of the lord chase them let their way be dark and slippery so when the angels chase them um it's saying that the the road the path is going to be dark and slippery and let the angels of the Lord persecute them. Breakthrough. Uh-oh. Let the angels of the Lord do what? It says, let the angels of the Lord persecute them. So if the angels is chasing after them, setting a path that's dark and slippery for the enemy, and then it's saying, let the angels persecute them, that means that the angels is hunting down the enemies. Persecute means to destroy. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, you said, uh, what scripture is this? This is Psalms uh, 35. Uh, first verse. And uh, I'm going to go a bit further on this here. Psalms 35, one on down. We're going to keep on going. Yeah. <laughs> Shalita said bars. There you go. Come on. Come on. I feel good now. Why do I feel good? Why? Because there is angels that's working for me. Now, let's see why these angels is going to do that. Because you got a lot of people that's talking, that's going to say, why does the angels got to do that? Why can't the angels be love, love, love and kiss this enemy? All right, let's see why. Watch this. It says this. For without cause... Have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have digged for my soul? Breakthrough. I told you, chosen ones. It said without cause. Meaning you done nothing wrong. 
you done no harm to them. But they had a hidden net trying to trap you. Your enemies has set hidden spells, dark spells, witchcraft, and all types of things on your life trying to trap you. And you knew nothing about it. You done nothing wrong to them. Oh my goodness gracious. Listen, listen, listen. This is why it says here in the Bible, without cause, you've done nothing wrong to them. But it don't matter to this enemy. This enemy trying to trap you. All right. Let's see what God got to say. So we now see that your enemies, that, that the angels will hunt down the wicked enemies. Okay. Understand. That. Yeah. You said that's why they're so mad. There you go. There you go. The reason they're angry with you is because they thought you were alone. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I'm not alone. Somebody put that down there. Yeah, that's how we're going to do this. You're not alone. No. No, chosen ones, my chosen sisters, my chosen brothers, you're not alone. <laughs> I want you to think about it like this. Think about how they tried to persecute you on these nine to fives. Uh, when you were on these jobs, they had secret conversations about you in the dark, trying to get you fired, doing all types of things. All right. Things you knew nothing about. And every single time, as you can see, the trap that they placed for you, it reversed and they fell in their own trap. Yeah. Yeah. You're not alone. That's the breakthrough. So now you should say to yourself, okay, this identity that Christ has given me has literally given me protection all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said, oh my gosh, how, how, how you know? Listen, Melissa, I'm telling you right now because the most high God has took me through experiences that he's shown me different things on how this enemy has tried to trap you. There's so many different traps. I'm, I'm going to explain a couple of them. Uh, financial traps. The enemy wants you to fall into a financial trap, a spiritual trap, a mental trap, and a trap of addiction, a trap on a nine to five. They try to get you fired so you don't have no income, so you can lose your home, your finances. The enemy has been sitting back trying to monitor you, monitoring spirits is trying to trap you. They want to trap you in every way, but God is not going to let this enemy uh, win. All right, understand that. Yeah. A star, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, you said you're being blocked from the chat. Wow. Come on now. Let's not play in this chat now. Allow my chosen family to come through because this, this message is real. Yeah. I hope they allow you through here. It should be. Yep. There you go. Oh, that's powerful. Uh, Crystal said, Crystal said, I lost it all. But I still got my soul. Woohoo. Hey, Amen. If you still got your soul, hit that like button right now. If you still got your soul, hit that like button. There's a lot of soulless people out here. What's up, Stacy? There's a lot of soulless people out here. <laughs> that want you to sell your soul. There's a lot of people out here. That wants you to uh, give up on God and walk away from God. Listen, we're not selling our soul out here. Understand that. Understand that. Yep. So watch this. I'm going to show you what God says right here. Watch this. This is 7, Psalms 35 and 7. It says this. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have dig for my soul. That's a breakthrough. I'm going to say it again. Hey, Crystal, you said I still got my soul, my chosen sister. Amen. <laughs> Watch this. Let destruction come up on him at unaware. Oh, my God. Chosen ones. Let hugs and love and kisses come up on him. Let destruction come up on him. All right? It's destruction that's going to come up on them when they're unaware. And let his net that he have 
he'd catch himself. Into the very destruction, let him fall. Breakthrough. Return to the sender. Somebody put down in the comment section below, return to the sender. Somebody put that down. See, <laughs> it says, and let his net that he hid catch himself into the very destruction, let him fall. Return to the sender. A lot of people don't, a lot of people, who's the sender? The one who sent out the net. According to scripture, it says, let him fall in the pit. That's what God said. That's scripture. Don't come at me. Don't say crystal life coach. Uh, why you want the enemy to fall in the pit? The enemy's going to fall in the pit because the enemy set a trap for you without cause. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not only talking about a physical trap. I'm talking about a spiritual trap. A trap that you knew nothing about. God is going to allow the enemy to get away with this? No, he's not. Let's see what God got to say. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. So how shall we be? In this case, at this time, we will rejoice. This is what God is saying. Not all the time. Because there's times, according to scripture, when we won't rejoice. Oh my God, God bless you, Mika Love. If you understand what I'm saying, Stacey, hit that like button right now. <laughs> See, this is what I want to tell you. Let me tell you something about the Most High God. There's a time and place for everything. God bless you, Mika Love. God bless you, Gibson. There's a time and place for everything. Uh, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? There, there, there's times that we're going to rejoice over it and there's times that we're not going to rejoice over it but in this case without cause we're going to be joyful because the bible says it all right now there are other times in the bible where it says don't rejoice but in this case we're going to rejoice because this particular case is without cause that's what you got to understand all right so watch this it said this, it said, and my soul shall be joyful in the Lord and it shall rejoice in his salvation. God is good. God is good. Before I go any further, get those likes up, chosen family. I'm happy. I'm smiling. I'm feeling good in God. I'm feeling good in the word. Why? Because I know that I'm protected. My chosen ones is happy and they're smiling and it's joyful because woe to the enemy, destruction to the enemy that thought when I was alone that they were going to do what they wanted to do to me. And guess what happened? My angels popped up. God showed up. That's the truth. Yeah. God never loses a battle. I love that, a royal priesthood. I love that. <laughs> yeah. We're going to keep on going. So it says this. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like unto thee, which delivered the poor from him that is too strong for him? Yea, the poor and the needy from him that spoileth him. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things. That I knew not. There you go. They lied on you, chosen ones. He said that I knew not. You weren't even there. You weren't in the room and they were lying on you, bearing false witness. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below if the enemy ever lied on you. Let me get an amen. If this enemy lied on you, been spreading rumors about you, doing all these wicked things, hit that like button right now. The reward, they rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. And that's what the wicked enemy do. See, the enemy don't give you good for good. The Bible says the enemy rewarded you evil for good. Oh, my goodness gracious. How many of you have tried to love the enemy, clothe the enemy, give the enemy finances, bless the enemy, 
hug the enemy, show the enemy love. And the only thing that happened is for you to turn around. Thank you for, for becoming a chosen kingdom member. God bless you, my chosen sister. The only thing that happened was they turned around and did evil towards you. They backstabbed you. Backstabbers. Yeah. Yeah, Crystal said almost died for the enemy. There you go. That's powerful, man. That's powerful. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled my soul with fasting and my prayer returned into my own bosom. So watch this. When your enemies were sick, you pray for them. How many of you pray for your enemies? Uh, listen, I know you're not in front of me. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below. If you pray for your enemies, if you did all of these things. Yes, uh, Stacy said, we are so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lied too many times for too long. There you go. L listen, how many of you prayed for them when they slayed you, when they talked about you, when they talked against you? Yeah, Nora said, my family members have been my worst enemies. There you go. Yeah, I pray for them. I pray for them when they wanted to destroy me. Uh, why? Because this is why we do it. Um, <laughs> listen, and I want to make this absolutely clear. We pray for this enemy according to the Bible. See, we want this world to be more righteous. If you want this world to be more, um, I feel the Holy Ghost speaking <laughs> right through me. Thank you, God, Israel. If we want this world to be more righteous, somebody put amen down in the comment section below because you know by praying for the enemy, it'll help deliver them from their wicked ways. If God say so. Oh my God, that's powerful. Understand this, that if, if we can deliver this enemy from the evil, then we can save possibly a chosen one from getting slaughtered from this wicked plot that the enemy has over your life. That's why we pray. We want the world to be more righteous. We want the world to be more Christ-like. We want the world to be more like us. Not like them. Not like them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nora said, when I pray for them, I feel the weight lifting off. Yes. Amen. See, that's why people... When people come in here talking about pray for them, you don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. There you go. Lead by example. We are leaders. You don't know what I'm doing in the dark. You don't know what I'm doing with the most high God. You don't know what I'm doing in secret. See, because I have <clears throat> the knowledge and wisdom from God. I have an understanding. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Steph, Steph said you keep it so real. Thank you. That's the only thing that I know how to do. Listen, God would not allow this ministry to prosper if I was coming up here being fake, if I was coming up here sugarcoating things. The only thing I know is to be real with my chosen family and tell it how it is and show you. All right, that's it. So we want the world to be more righteous. That's why we'll pray for the enemy and hope that the enemy don't commit the wicked crime. In the process. Yeah. Chris, I never expected family to go against me. But when they called me, when they called in outside from a different uh, state uh, while I was locked in a mental uh, institution, man, did I figure out uh, who I am? Black sheep I am. Yes, you are. You are the black sheep of the family. Yeah. So chosen family continue. Listen, listen. Let me make this clear for the chosen ones out here. When you pray for this enemy... Pray that the enemy does not do harm to you, your family, and other chosen vessels. Pray the spirit of protection over your life, okay? When you're praying for this enemy, I want you to know you are doing something good because you are trying to save people from being hurt out here, all right? That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this is powerful. That's why. So let's keep going. It said this. I behave myself as though he had been my friend or brother. I bow down heavenly 
as one that mourneth for his mother. Breakthrough. And you did that, chosen ones. You thought these people were your family, Crystal. You thought friends were your family. You thought that they were like family, like blood. But in a time of trouble, you see that they will never mourn for you. They would never cry for you. They would never do those things for you like you did for them. All right. Let me keep on going. It says, but in my adversity, they rejoiced. Breakthrough. They did what? It said, in my adversity, meaning in the problems he was having, in the trouble, in the time of need, they rejoice. Chosen ones, I told you, they laughed at you when you had a shortcoming, when you had a downfall, they rejoiced. Though you were praying for them, doing the amazing things for them, they rejoiced, they laughed at you in your time of trouble. Yeah. Then it says this. It said, but in my adversity, they rejoice and gathered themselves together. They gang stalked you. When they gathered themselves together, that means that it was more than one person that came together to hurt you and harm you. Oh God, this is powerful. This is powerful. <laughs> Hold on. So now we got a group of people that's acting as wicked enemies that's coming against you. Why do you think you need the angels to come and fight this battle for you? Mm hmm. That's a breakthrough. The reason you need the angels, because it's not only one person. It's multiple people that gathered together. To celebrate and rejoice. Oh, they threw a celebration. But let me tell you something on what's going to happen because they threw a celebration. Somebody put down in the comment section below, you celebrated too early. Somebody put down in the comment section below, devil, you celebrated too early. You celebrated my defeat too early. You celebrated my shortcomings too early. You celebrated the demise of the chosen ones too early. You celebrated too early. I'm going to show you what happens when you celebrate too early. God bless you, Yasmin. I'm going to show you what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're my wicked enemies out there that's gang stalking me and monitoring me like you've been doing on the path when I was in the Matrix, you celebrated too early. Yeah, I know. When you saw me start this ministry off, you thought it wasn't going nowhere. You celebrated too early. Look at God. Somebody put down in the comment section below. Look at God. Look at your life. And I want you to tell the enemy, look at God. Tell him, chosen ones. Tell him, chosen ones. Tell him, look at God. Yeah. I'm about to go in. You celebrated too early. Look at God, baby. Oh, Nora, you know God bless you, my chosen sister. God has blessed you. He has blessed your business. So I'm proud of you, my chosen sister. Listen, listen. All my chosen family on here, Stacy, all my chosen ones, Steph, Bond, listen. Let me stop this message for one moment. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of you, Yasmin. Astar, I'm proud of you. My chosen brother, Abosa, I'm proud of you. Reality Seer, I'm proud of you. Helen, I'm proud of you. Gibson, I'm proud of you. Oh my God, Don83, I'm proud of you. God loves me, I'm proud of you. Oh my goodness gracious, Mer uh, Merlin, I'm proud of you. Melissa, I'm proud of you. Let me tell you something right now. Look at your life. They celebrated too early. Uh, <coughs> listen, come on, chosen ones. Come on, listen, all the chosen ones that's in this chat, if I didn't call your name, listen, a royal priesthood, I'm proud of you. Crystal, I'm proud of you. Look at your life. Look at how beautiful God has created you in the path that God has given you. The business, the, the ideas, the mindset, the intelligence. Look at how God created you. I'm proud of you. Oh, my God. Look at God. Look at God's creation. Look at the amazing things that God's done. God seen what they were doing in the dark. They were celebrating. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let it be. They were celebrating. Of Royal, they were celebrating. Blue Jay, Blue Jay, they were celebrating. 
amazed. They were celebrating my chosen sister, but they celebrated too early. What happens when you got that 1% of God left in you after the enemy tried to slaughter you? Oh, that's powerful. The Bible says the faith of a mother seed. That's all you got to have is the faith the size of a mustard seed. You can move a mountain, baby. Oh, my God. God will move a mountain for you. That's huge. And that's what you had. The only thing that you had was faith. And it was a little bit of faith. Some of you got, uh, some of you had this enemy attack you so much to where you almost went into a shell and gave up. But you had the faith the size of a mustard seed that got you through. Oh my God, your mustard seed of faith got you through the battle. Oh, that's beautiful. Listen, listen to now where you can tell your story. Some of you will say, why did this enemy want to kill me and rejoice on my shortcomings? The enemy wanted to destroy you so you don't tell your testimony. Because through your testimony is God's glory. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he was trying to do it to me these past few months. Yes, he was. Yes. Yes, he was. Thank you. My chosen warriors, my chosen sisters, my chosen soldiers. They tried to destroy you before you can give off that testimony. But God, somebody put down in the comment section below, but God. Yes, yes, but God. See, see, the enemy had had plots and traps and nets and different things set all around for you. They had it all mapped out. They celebrated. They threw parties. They celebrated too early. But God, but God, it's always that but God with the chosen one, see, because they forgot that you took up on the identity with Christ. Oh my goodness gracious. Your new identity, put that but God in there. See, see, that but God is what saved you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna make this absolutely clear. I'm gonna make this absolutely, it's that but God stepped in. You had a trap, but God stepped in on my behalf. You wanted me to die, but God stepped in on my behalf. You wanted to put witchcraft over my life, but God stepped in. You wanted Crystal Life Coast to lose, but God stepped in. You wanted all my chosen ones that's on this chat to die and give up on their dreams, have no support, but God stepped in and became their support. God is your support, chosen ones. Somebody put down in the comment section below, God is my support. Oh my God. Listen, we don't need support from the enemy. We don't need support from the devil. We don't need support from the world. The only support we need is God. By God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they told stories. Listen, the enemy sat back. Listen, understand after this grouping that they had, watch, watch how powerful this is. <laughs> Let me tell you what the enemies is doing now. Watch how powerful this is. They had to gather back. They had to come together again after they rejoiced, after they celebrated too early and understand the conversation changed. The conversation switched around. You will say now, Chris Life Coach, what is their tone like now? Their tone is different. They used to talk loud and aggressive on your life. They used to say different things to knock you down. Now God has set the tone. God has changed the tone on your enemies. Now they gather around now at the family barbecues in the family meetings and they sit back and say, man, we almost had them. But God, oh my God, that's powerful. The likes should be going up in this video right now. The likes should be going up for all my chosen ones right now. I said they sit down and the conversation is different. Watch this, Royal. I said they sit down now. They used to, they used to talk all arrogant and speak loud. Now the conversation has changed. The conversation went from, uh, 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 we almost killed him. We about to do this to him. We about to put witchcraft on his life. Now the conversation is this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost did this. We, we almost had him until we ran up on him and we saw God until we ran up on him. Uh, we almost knocked him down to the ground, took away his dreams, took away his music career, took away his acting career, took off his ministry. But God, that's powerful. 
But God now is in the conversation. It doesn't matter. I just showed you proof. It doesn't matter what I do. As long as I got God, there's always going to be a but God in the conversation. I know you monitoring spirits that's watching me. You almost took me off. You almost had me stop. But God stepped in on my behalf. How many people had God step in on their behalf? Come on now. Yeah. God humbled them. You right about that, Blue Jay. Humbled all of them. You better understand something right now, chosen ones. It's a God's presence that can humble 10,000 men, that can humble 1,000 women, that can humble hundreds of people <coughs> at one time. If you believe that, hit that like button right now. You can't do this on your own. This is a God-like presence that humbled them. Oh, man, that's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. We almost we almost stopped Christian life coach. But then something happened out of nowhere. It was God. I know. You had it mapped out. What's going on? Listen, you had it mapped out. Oh, don't worry. Listen, oh, listen, I, I know my children, sister. I'm here for you. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting warmed up. I know I'm spitting out fire for the most high God today. I'm telling you right now that your angels is going to hunt down the enemy. I want you to know something right now, chosen ones. The story has changed. God has changed the story. Somebody put down in the comment section below. God has changed the story. Yeah. Yeah, God's changed the story. See, they had the story all set out in place. They sat back. They wrote a book about you. They did everything. They published a the book. Oh, that's powerful. I said they wrote a book about you falling off and dying. They went out and published this book. But now they got to go back to Amazon and go to these different stores and tell them to pull the books off the shelf. Why? Because God, baby, but God showed up. The book of lies over your life. They all published this book. They did these things over your life too early. They celebrated too early. Devil, you celebrated my failure too early. You should have sat back and been humble. You should have humbled yourself down to my chosen ones. <laughs> Come on, chosen family. Y'all feel where I'm coming from? Y'all know they sat back and wrote a book about you? Why you think they're monitoring spirits? God changed your story. You didn't change your story. God did it. Oh, that's powerful. <laughs> that's huge. I'm going to go back to scripture, man. That's powerful. It said this. But in my adversity, they rejoiced and gathered themselves together. Yea, the objects gathered themselves together against me. And I knew it not. There you go. Secret competition. How many people is in secret competition with you? Let me get an amen down in the comment section below. Secret competition means that you knew it not. You didn't know you had all these people against you secret competition yeah yep yep there you go nor said had them looking had them asking how i don't look like i've been attacked after being stabbed in my face god did it glory be to god my chosen sister thank the, mo the most high the heavenly father for protecting you my chosen sister Glory be to God. They were in secret competition with you. You knew nothing about it. I'm glad the most high God protected you, my chosen sister, Nora. Watch this. Yes, they are. Watch this.
He said, and I knew it not. They did not tear me and seize not. So they didn't have no sympathy. With hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how long will thou look on me? Rescue my soul from their destruction, my darling from their lions. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Let not them that are my enemies wrongfully rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye that hate me without cause. For they speak not peace, but they devise deceitful matters against them that are quiet in the land. Yea, they open their mouth wide against me. I'm going to stop right there, break through. They did what, Most High? They opened a big old mouth wide against you, chosen ones. That's what they did. They spoke failure over your life. Word spells and word curses over your life. I'm going to keep on going. It says this. Yea, they opened their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, that I have seen it. This thou have seen, O Lord. Keep not silence, O Lord. Be not far from me. Steer up thyself and awake to my judgment, even unto my cause, God. Judge me, O Lord, according to thy righteousness and let them not rejoice over me once again. God is not going to let this enemy rejoice over you. God's not going to let them see your shortcomings, see your downfall. They're going to have to rewrite that book. And at the end of the book, they're going to have to put, I done all these things to him. I done all these things to the chosen ones. But God stepped in and stopped the plan. My evil plan backfired. That's what they're going to have to do. Watch this. Let them not say in their hearts, so we have it. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Gather that rejoice at my heart. Let them be clothed with the shame and dishonor that magnify themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad that favor the righteousness <clears throat> cause ye. <clears throat> Let them say continually. Let the Lord be magnified, which have pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of the praise all day long. Breakthrough. That's powerful. God's going to confuse the enemy. Everything that they plan, everything that they have planned for your destruction is going to fail. God will always win. Amen. God Almighty always wins. There you go. <clears throat> Chosen ones, I'm telling you right now. You have a God that has placed angels around your life that's protecting you at all times. If you want to talk about the love of God, this is the love of God. Being protected is the love of God. Oh my God, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, chosen ones, because this message is coming directly from the Most High God. I'm telling you right now that you have angels that will hunt down the enemy, chase the enemy, and persecute the enemy. Why? Because there was things happening in the dark that you knew nothing about. As a faithful saint of God, Listen to me right now, chosen ones. God has put a plan in place. The same way you have assigned enemies, assigned demons and devils of this world to try to distract you and take you off your mission. You have assigned angels protecting you at all times. Understand that the devil, the devil is like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. Meaning the enemy never sleeps. There's no rest for the wicked. 
until the wicked can do evil deeds and evil crimes in this world. That's when they can get rest. Understand that the job of the angel, the angels, is to stop those wicked crimes from being committed. Spiritual crimes from being committed. This enemy put spiritual crimes over your life. Things that you knew nothing about. Things that you couldn't see. Spiritual crimes was being done in the dark. And God said enough is enough. Somebody put down in the comment section below. Enough is enough. You want to ask why Crystal Life Coach is here? You want to say why Crystal Life Coach is sitting right here? Because I got sick and tired of seeing the wicked. Enough is enough. No more will we allow this enemy to get away and slip through the cracks. Enough is enough. We already got the wicked things going on in society, children. Let me tell you something right now about what's going on. Let me tell you this. There you go. They violate it. And our suffering is a witness against them. There you go. Let me tell you something about this, children. On not what I think. On what I know. I'm going to break this down. The matrix. The enemy. Has set in place. A trap. For the youth. Oh my God. I'm going to say that again. We operate off. Frequencies. We operate off energy. As a chosen one, we operate off high vibrations, chosen family. And what's happening is the enemy is trying to lower your vibrations every single day. When you operate off a high vibration, a high energy, a high frequency, you are connected to the most high God. Why? Because being on a high vibration means that you have peace, love, and joy and righteousness. In your body. When you're vibe, when you're uh, operating on a low frequency, you have hate, jealousy, destruction in your body. Oh my God. If you agree with that, hit that like button right now. Yeah. I'm going to say that again. Life is energy. When you're a chosen one. You operate on high frequencies. God is a high. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me let me show you something. If you never thought of it like this way, watch this. I'm going to show you. I got you. I got you. I got you. A reality seer. Watch this. Some of you will say, well, why do we operate on a high frequency? I want you to think about a position. I want you to think about what position is God in and what position is the devil in. The God or uh, the most high God is up high. He sit up high. That's a high frequency. The devil is down low. The devil want to keep it on the down low. Oh my God, that's probably. And I ain't talking about the song. <laughs> come on, chosen family. Come on, come on, listen. <laughs> Samantha Jackson, this is getting powerful. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you, Most High God, for exposing that to me. About operating on frequencies and energy. When you operate high, you look up high because you walk with confidence. When you look down low, you don't have confidence. <clears throat> oh, the devil trying to stop my voice. <clears throat> oh, no, not this message, devil. Oh, that's powerful. Watch this. Oh, this is huge. Listen, th listen, listen. <laughs> this breakthrough is huge. I'm going to say that again. I want you to look at the position that God is in and the position that the devil is in. The devil is down low. That's the low frequency. 
death, destruction, murder, everything that goes against the commandments of God. God is a high vibration, okay? But understand this about God, that God has the ability to operate off high frequency and low frequency anytime that God wants. Why? Because God is the alpha, the omega. Oh my God, hit that like button right now. Some of you will say, what's the proof? God bless you, Renee, chosen sister. Some of you will say, what's the proof? Look at the weather, baby. In Acts 16, 16, 34, God used the earthquake to shake the foundation off of Paul and Silas. God hit the foundation. You got a God that can do what he want, when he want, and how he want. That's powerful. The Alpha, the Omega. The beginning and the end. God created the heavens and earth. That is powerful. You wonder why. God has given you the authority over the enemy. Why did God give you the authority? God gave you the authority because God has the ultimate power over the devil. Some of you will say, prove it, Chris. I'm going to prove it to you. Look at the story of Job. Did Job have to go to God for permission? Somebody tell me that right now. Somebody let me know right now. Did Job have to go to God for permission? Somebody let me know. Yes, you're right about that. Low vibrates, uh, they do their father's work. And high vibrates do the, do the heavenly father's work. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody let me know. I'm getting amens down in the comment section below. Satan needed permission to test Job. So that lets you know that the devil... Satan don't have as much power as you think he do. So now I want you to think about this. If I told you that we operate on a high frequency, on a high vibration, I want you to know this. That you have the option to be low vibrational. So some of you will say, what happens if I operate on a low vibration, if I only think of stealing, killing, destroying, destroying my community, destroying my life, destroying other people, setting my family members up, doing witchcraft, doing wickedness? What happens? Destruction. You will literally destroy yourself or you will end up in the enemy's hand. That's why you got to be careful about what frequency you're operating on. You got to be careful about what you're putting in your mind. If you know that that's true, hit that like button right now. If you know you got to be careful about the music you listen to, hit that like button right now. If you know that the music has been infiltrated from the devil, hit that like button right now. See, I know this information. I know all this information. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a lot of things that I know. But you got to be careful with what you take in. Why do you think that you can't even spend a, a five minutes without letting your children watch TV? They know, the enemy know, that the youth can be programmed. Why? Because the brain is not fully developed yet. Oh my God, that's powerful. And if the enemy can creep in and put that wickedness in your kid's mind before your kid's mind can be developed through witchcraft, whatever the enemy might do, the enemy can get your children. The children is the future. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I said the children is the future. And the dogs can be programmed too as well. Absolutely. And they are being. 
but I'm just using the youth as an example. But of course, the dogs is programmed as well. Absolutely. You see them. The wicked Tyrone's popping in this chat. Talk about what about the love and all that. You see them. Their program as well. See, our mission and our job is a threat to them. Why? Because we are here to break away the programming that this enemy have put in place. What is the awakening? Your spiritual awakening. Oh my God. If you want to know God's love, if you want to know the love of God, if you want to know why God loved you, if you want to ask yourself about the love of God, if anybody say, well, what's the love of God? Your spiritual awakening. God not letting you stay asleep. That's love. Somebody put down in the comment section below, that's love. Alyssa said, I had a dream a few nights ago, heavy mind control and perversion sweeping through the land. There you go. It's coming. That's the love of God. That's the love. You being woke out here, spiritually woken, that's love. I, listen, listen, I feel so loved by God that I'm not walking on this earth I'm, and I'm not sleep anymore. That's love. That's love. Not running around hugging some sheep that's not going to the kingdom. That's not love. The love, listen, listen, the love is, is God giving you a spiritual awakening. So you can walk on this path with clarity. God putting us together to fellowship. That's love. Because everybody's not out here. For the right reasons. Some people are out here just specifically to destroy you and cause confusion. Understand that God made everything for you to have a clear path if there's anything that gets in this path to try to knock away and try to take off the spiritual clarity that god has for you understand that god can go from the high frequency to the low frequency and destroy this enemy at any time that's why god can operate through weather or through whatever he wants to operate through. This is the this is the true living God that we're talking about. This ain't no play God. And I'm not going to sit on here on this chat and act like God does not bring wrath and destruction. I just showed you. God is so amazing to where he'll pass the ball off to his angels and say, you handle them. You don't want to see the right you don't want to see the 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 hand of god come against your life you don't want to see the wrath of god come against your life that's why you got to be obedient to the most high god and stay out of the wickedness and be righteous it's powerful man that's the message today that's the word today chosen ones i just wanted to let you know that um their witchcraft failed and you have angels literally protecting you um <laughs> At every moment and they're not just uh, chasing the enemy they're chasing them down to persecute them all right understand that. and I'm gonna read this one more time for I get up out of here it says this it says Psalms it says Psalms uh, uh, 35 and 4 says let them be confounded and put them to shame that seek after my soul you got your soul chosen ones they are seeking after your soul Reality seer, they're seeking after our soul, man. This is what people don't understand. They just think that people are out here being wicked. Listen, they want your soul. And the devil can't have it. Because you belong to God. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I belong to God. Thank you, Hassan, for pouring in the ministry. Hassan said this, we are on, we are on seventh day rest but are not asleep. Amen. Amen. No, we're not. No, we're not. You belong to God. The enemy can't have your soul. Understand that this persecution that I'm talking about that's from the angels is for anybody that's trying to take your soul. Watch this, man. L listen, when you hear a message like this, you should be thankful 
that you got angels protecting you. Because why? It says it here. The enemy is trying to take your soul, but you belong to God. They can't have you. And if they're trying to have you anyway, this is what's going to happen to them. It says this. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that divides my hurt. Oh, all the people out there that want to see you hurt before I go. They want to see you hurting real bad. No finances in your pocket. They want to see you in poverty. They want to see you without a home. They want to see you hurting spiritually. Yeah. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of devils out there. Angels are blasting these devils. There you go. God is telling you that he control everything. He's going to put them to shame and he's going to confuse the enemy. Watch this. Let them be as chaff before the wind, just like straw in the wind. If you think about straw flying in the wind, blown in the wind, that's how they're going to be. Once that smoke get out there, that's how they're going to be chosen. Let's watch this. And let the angels of the Lord chase them. Uh-oh, what happens when you hunt? You chase. You run after the target. Some people say, is that it? No, that's not it. There's going to be a chase that's going to happen. And what's going to happen after that? It says, let there be dark and slippery. Let the way, their way be dark and slippery as they're running away. Because that's what's going to happen. Because your enemies are cowards. The angels is going to make the road dark and slippery. That's powerful. <laughs> God is good. Somebody put down in the comment section below. God is good. Oh, it don't stop there. Mm. Yeah, I know. I know you're going to run away. Because that's what you're going to do. You're going to show your hand. <laughs> you said they're going to be running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is good. God is good. God is good. I right, Listen, and it's so, it's so crystal clear. So there's no room for error. God does not allow any room for error right here. Because there's a lot of people that would try to put their their own mindset on this. They will try to put their own doctrine on this. They'll try to do all these things to try to confuse the message of God. But God is giving you a visual. Oh my God. Someone say it's crystal clear. Someone say that. God is giving you the vision and a visual of your enemies slipping as they run and be blown in the wind. To when they slip, Somebody put down in the comment section below, I got you now. That's what your angels is going to say. I got you now. Don't run and don't hide because you will slip and I got you now. See, God will make it crystal clear. God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. All right. I got you now. Watch this. Here comes the I got you now moment. Let there be. Let their way be dark and slippery. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. I got you now. And here's why. For without cause have they hid for me their net in a pit, which without cause they have uh, dig for my soul. Once again, they're after your soul. Let destruction come upon him at unaware. So they're going to be unaware, just like the jailer, the jailer was. In uh, Acts 16, 16, 34, when that earthquake hit uh, hit the prison, the jailer was sleeping. The jailer was unaware when the Most High God sent out his wrath. They're going to be unaware. Okay? This is real. And a lot of them are unaware. Think about it like this. This is real. Watch this. They're going to be unaware because they thought they had you in their pocket. They thought the plan was going to be carried out. They went to sleep thinking that you were done. I told you, they published the book. They celebrated too early. That's why they're going to be unaware. Understand this. Watch how powerful this is. When we think about Acts 16, 16, 34, the jailer felt comfortable to where he fell asleep. 
Somebody put down in the comment section below. Don't sleep now, devil. Somebody put that down there. That's powerful. That's huge. I'm going to say that again. If the jailer knew the protection that Paul and Silas was under in Acts 16, 16, 34. If the jailer knew that Paul and Silas, if, wait, hold on, let me make this clear. If the jailer knew the, the power of the Heavenly Father, okay, do you think that that jailer would have fell asleep? That's a question for you, Joseph. A lot of people has fallen asleep on you. Why? Because they got comfortable thinking. Uh, Nora said no. <laughs> ben said no. There you go. No. No. The jeller would have been up, woke, and it don't matter who the jeller had. It doesn't matter how many uh, uh, jellers there was because God used the earthquake to hit the foundation. So it don't matter. But. God did a strategic thing when he allowed that earthquake to hit the hit the um, foundation. It shook off the chains. And this is why your enemies are so wicked and they don't understand you. They don't understand that just by being around you, they can be blessed. Let me get an amen down in the comment section below. Just by the people in prison being around Paul and Silas, when Paul and Silas prayed... Just by them being around Paul and Silas in prison, just by Paul and Silas entering that prison, they got a blessed sin. Oh, man. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. If only they knew you were the blessing. Somebody put down in the comment section below, I'm the blessing. Somebody say that for me. Come on, chosen ones. If only they knew you are the blessing. Oh, my God. Nor say yes. But there you go. Come on, man. This is big. You're the blessing. You're the blessing. Listen, listen. Hassan Perez, you're the blessing. Marlon, you're the blessing. Oh, my God, this is powerful. Enemy, you're not going to stop my voice now. No, amen. Listen, glory be to God. You're the blessing. Crystal, you're the blessing. <coughs> Alyssa, you're the blessing. Gibson, you're the blessing. They don't even know that if they just treat you right. Yasmin, Melissa, if they just treat you right. They'll get blessed. They fumbled the blessing. You were the blessing. Why you think they're monitoring you now? They want you back. You can't have me back. Devil, you can't have me back. Somebody claim this. Tell the devil you can't have me back. <laughs> I, I said black. I said back. Don't try to play me, devil. You can't have me back. Try to confuse my words. You can't have me back. Listen, forgive me, Chosen. This enemy trying to mess with me tonight. I said you can't have me back. You fumbled the blessing. They fumbled you. They fumbled you. Oh, man, that's wrong. <laughs> this is real. This is real. This is God's word. This is God speaking to you, chosen ones. Yes, you are. God curses those who curse you. Yes, he do. They became, listen, let me tell you what they're so, I, I'm going to tell you something on that, on that note real quick. They became an enemy of the Most High God as soon as they went against you, as soon as they fumbled the blessing. They became an adversary to the Most High God. God said he will become an enemy of our enemies and an adversary of our adversaries. If you know that that's true, hit that like button right now. Yeah. That's why they keep popping in, stalking you, gang stalking you. They want you back. You can't have my chosen family back. No. Sit back, relax, and watch God work. That's what you can do. All right? You're not getting back the chosen ones. You fumbled this blessing. My chosen family, my chosen sisters on here, my chosen uh, brothers on here, they are the blessing. Why you think you're here, chosen ones? You're the blessing. If you weren't the blessing, you would have been destroyed. The witchcraft would have killed you. The wicked enemies would have killed you. The word spells would have killed you. See, 
if the jailer knew of God's power, he wouldn't have went to sleep. There's some people out there that underestimate God's power. Some people are not going to realize God's power until God put his power in work. All right. I'm just make that clear. Hmm. Here he is with his feet kicked up, laying back <laughs> and fell asleep. And a lot of people, listen, listen, I'm going to tell you, so I'm going to make this clear. I'm going to make this absolutely, this is for you, my chosen ones. A lot of people have fell asleep on you. Uh, Hassan Perez says this, they cannot have any of the chosen family back. We are the blessing. Amen. Amen. Thank you for pouring in the ministry, my chosen brother. Yes, we are. No, they can't. Why can't they? Because according to Psalms 35, they want your soul. And without cause, they want to persecute you. So it's going to be reversed on them. Oh, that's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it tells you all things are working for your good at all times, chosen ones. Even when it don't look right. See, I want to make this clear real quick. The reason that some of them slept on you or fell asleep on you is because I told you, chosen family, at any time, God can call you and put you in your purpose at any time. I told you that when I broke down the seven Ps, I want you to know something, okay, that your divine time. When it meets your potential, that's when God will put you in your purpose. Understand that there's not a time, there's not a date on when God will do this for you. Oh my God, I'm going to say this again. There's not a time or date on when God will do this for you. Okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you, my chosen bro uh, brother and son. There's not a time or date when God will do this for you. It's on God's divine time. So, I want you to know that there was people that was watching you for five years, 10 years, 20 years. It might've been 30 years that the enemy was watching you and they went to sleep on you. They looked at you, they mocked you, they laughed. They said, God was never gonna come on your behalf. And the moment, <coughs> I said the moment, that they got comfortable and went to sleep. That's when God showed exactly who he was. God is about to show this enemy who he is on your behalf. Somebody put down in the comment section below, God will work on my behalf. Let's put that out there in the world for the most high God to hear. Let's put that out there for God. See, it's all about God's time. God will work on your behalf. That's what he's going to do. And you will know. You will know when the Most High God is working on you. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. Let me make this clear. God is working on your behalf right now as we speak. As we speak, God is working on your behalf. Why is God working on your behalf? How do you know God is working on your behalf? This is how. It's preparation before the battle. God's preparing you before you walk. The, pre the preparation is God telling you that you're protected. So don't think that it's strange that you're getting this divine message right now. Understand that the hour, the second, the time of your purpose is near. So God is giving you that spiritual strength to tell you that all things are working for your good. God is telling you that you have angels protecting you. In other words, to sum this message up, I want you to know no matter where you walk, no matter where you go, no matter what they do to you on your path, you are spiritually protected by God. There is nothing that this devil can do to stop you. That is the message for you. So walk free, walk free and keep your faith in God. That's what God wanted me to tell you. Have no worries. 
because you're being protected at all times. God got your back. I don't listen, listen, I don't want no fake friends talk about, oh, I got your back, Crystal Life Coach. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do it. I don't want fake family talking about, I got your back. No, 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 no. I want the God that controls the weather. <laughs> Come on, let me get an amen. Now. Listen, I want the God that, that works in the dark, that can hear in secret, that can give me my discernment, that can give me visions in my dreams and, and show me the path. I want my path clear. I want that God to have my back. I'm not worried about fake friends talking about, I'm going to have your back. I'm going to do this. No, 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 no. I want, I want the God of Israel to, to come through. That's who I want. Because God, when he got your back, he's going to give it to you. He going to show you. Yeah. That's my message, chosen family. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for your love and support with this ministry. Thank you so much for, for, for giving words of encouragement and, and, and thank you for listening in and tuning in because I want you to know that God said, give this message now. It's time to shake up this enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God said, I've been giving, he said, I've been laying on your heart and on your spirit to tell them that they got a new identity. But he said, let's not forget what comes with that identity. It comes protection. It comes protection. And I want you to show them that they're not only protected by me. I want you to show them that they're protected by my angels. And my angels is working in the spiritual realm. My angels is working in the physical realm as well to protect you at all times and to hunt down this enemy if needed. And that's the message from God. Yeah. Thank you, my chosen family. I hope you have a wonderful night. Stay strong out there. Stay strong out there. Keep God first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. God bless you too, Stacy. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. What a powerful message. Thank you, Hassan, for pouring in the ministry. Thank you, all my chosen ones. Man, what a powerful word. Uh, listen, it, it says rejoice. I'm walking away now with a smile on my face. As I walk from this message, I'm walking away now with a smile on my face, knowing that we are protected. Not me. We are are protected from this enemy. All right. Thank you, Ben. God bless you. Stay blessed out there, chosen one. Stay blessed and stay encouraged. God bless you, Renee. Listen, Renee, I'm sorry, my chosen sister, you missed the message earlier, but listen, I told you I was coming back with a message from God and uh, God said, get this message off to the chosen family. So we're protected. Stay, listen, stay, stay encouraged, chosen ones. Don't let this enemy discourage you in any kind of way. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, listen, me too. I needed this uplifting. Yes. Listen, chosen ones, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. All right. We're here to uplift each other and encourage each other. All right. That's what it's all about. Um, and I believe this. I, I, I really believe this. I believe that when God delivered this message, I don't know who it's for specifically, but I believe that it's, it's for, for, for the chosen vessels, man, that, that really need it in their life because there's different times when God will call us in life. And um, that's what I strongly, I strongly believe that God has a huge calling for somebody out there. Yes. Thank you for being obedient to what the Lord tells you, Chris. I hear you uh, each time. Thank you so much, uh, Yasmin. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Yes, 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 Renee. Yes. And um, this one here was for all the chosen vessels out there, man, to uh, keep on going and just know you're you're protected by God. Um, have a wonderful night. Bless you, chosen ones. Bless you, royal. God bless you. Thank you for all the chosen ones that became a member of the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you, Bond. Thank you so much. Much love. Uh, uh, let it be much love to you. Much love to all the chosen ones that's on here. God loves me. Much love you. Yes, God do love you. Uh, much love to you. Um, all the chosen ones out there. Um, uh, Samantha, God bless you too. Um, God bless all the chosen ones that's been behind the scenes. Hitting that like button if you're new to this channel. Please subscribe to this channel, uh, chosen ones, because um, God truly has a powerful, powerful uh, calling and message that's been working on this ministry. And um, I'm just thankful. I'm in awe. I'm happy that God has chose me to um, deliver this message. It's an honor. And um, I just, I'm going to continue to be obedient to God and what God want me to do uh, for the chosen family as he uh, gives me insight on where he want me to go in the direction where he want me to do um, chosen ones That's what I'm gonna bring to you because I know you got a battle to fight of your own and I know you got uh, Things that you got to do um, in life and I'm just here as, 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 a, as a guidance tool as a vessel from the Most High God to give you encouragement um, To keep on fighting and I want you to listen listen before I go um, I want you to know that we never know the time or day 
when God is going to say, I'm ready for you. We never know the time or day when God is going to say, I'm ready for you to go out here and, and do this, do this works, do my works. We never know when God's going to call us. But I want you to know, chosen ones, that through these battles and through these things that we expose on this channel, um, you're going to be prepared for the battle. You're going to be prepared for everything on what God got for you. And I want you just to remember uh, remember this. If you don't remember a lot, just remember the obedience is key. Obedience is key to everything. When I look at life, when I look at my life, I think about being obedient to God and how God has, gave, has given me breakthroughs through my obedience. Um, I just want you to to uh, continue to be obedient to God because that's that's where God will bless you at is through your obedience, chosen family. All right, understand that. That's my message for tonight. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night, chosen family. Peace out, chosen ones. Peace out. Yeah, you said let's demonstrate the power of prosperity and abundance together. Listen, uh, Hassan, I'm going to uh, dive into um, uh, prosperity and abundance. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do some uh, messages on that as well for you, my chosen brother, um, to show you uh, uh, that we are truly, man. Listen, God is the whole package, man. All right. That, listen, if anybody has been telling you just to look at one side of God, they've been lying. They've been trying. Listen, they've been doing a disservice to you. All right. I'm going to say that again. If there's anybody out there that's been trying to hide who God is just on one part and show you one part, they've been doing a disservice to you. We got to expose everything about God because everything about God, the inheritance, the secret treasures. Oh, man, it's so beautiful. Listen, listen to prosperity, the things that God will do for you for being obedient, the protection, the, the divine protection that God will give you as you sleep. Remember, the enemy is walking up on this earth trying to destroy you at all times. Just remember that, tells us. Remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that. Remember that, tells the family. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So I'm definitely going to um, put some messages in there about um, the 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 inheritance of 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 from the heavenly Father and 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 you know us getting that double portion, yeah 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 yeah. Not being ashamed, not being shamed. I'm I'm gonna break down a message for you, my chosen ones. All right, y'all have a wonderful night. Y'all have a wonderful one, chosen ones. Keep the faith, keep the faith, chosen family. Uh, continue to stay blessed, all my all my chosen ones. Peace, love, and blessings to everybody. And um, you said I'm so grateful for your ministry. I'm grateful for you too, Hassan. Thank you. Thank you. I pray that the Heavenly Father continue to protect not just you, but your family, your children, your children's children. Uh, I want God to continue to keep that shield, this shield of protection, not just over your life, but over your family's life as well, chosen family. All right. Peace out, chosen.